Hello everybody, it's Mr. Fudger back here with a brand new episode of FIFA Mobile. Today is episode number 56 or 25 for the month of February. The way how you see it, it depends on yourself. Anyway, uh, let's start off with the news. Um, I think I left a thing yesterday for people to either comment or like, and nobody did neither by the time I recorded this video. So, therefore, I've come to the decision that nobody wants to see me open these new Lunar New Year packs with my coins, which is, thankfully for me, better off. So, what I will be doing is just opening up my free pack. Like this. Hoping I get a team of the week. Did I get 100 goalkeeping XP? Mm, not too bad, not too great, shabby. As you can tell, I'm just going to claim it straight away and just get the claiming points. Make sure you go through as many of this as possible. At least get these two. If you can't do the players, that's up to you. And yeah, it depends on yourself. Um, second officer, you're aware there's nothing new for Sunday, but there is this with the February rewards. As you're aware, now we're on day 25. We've got to go here. On the bottom left. And five lunar coins. How lucky am I? Five lunar coins. They finally actually heard my comment probably from yesterday's video going, well, you had a lunar new year event, you might as well get lunar stuff. And I can't even buy anything with these five lunar coins. Yay. Um, my Lunar New Year event so far actually hasn't gone that bad. Obviously, you're going to see me purchase these to get 880 coins profit. I do like that. Uh, second off, the free hidden stuff are here. You can get Jail Cancella, you can get yourself Firecracker, or you can get 40,000 trading XP. Ideally, I do want Cancella. Um, right now, I'm in the middle of selling my. player Lindelof um, from yesterday's video if you saw him. I also did get Salik, the German player, but I'm keeping him because he actually has a purpose for my team. Obviously, as of not right now, now, but he does actually have a purpose. Um, as you're aware, I just completed the first one. Just to show you to go along, you can get four of them, three of the other ones. I want to show you my celebration as well. I'm showing you what I've got. I haven't actually used the points yet. So I'm going to work my way probably towards the Salik. If not Salik, I will be working my way towards... Uh, the beatable. Oh, oh, um, whoopsie. I went a bit over the line there. Let's quickly grab this. Sorry, I made myself look really bad there. I should not have gone for it there. Sometimes I just make the thing come towards myself, but sometimes I'll just run towards it. There you go. Just I'm running towards it to make this video quicker. Uh, usually I just let it come to myself, it's just easier. What I mean is I just stand in position I know where it's gonna go to, so it just comes towards me, but that's just the lazy way of doing it. If you're doing it like I am, just gonna go through quickly completely for the video sake. I said this time aim just either either side to the right or left like that and then do the opposite to the other side. All you do is need to practice two swipes. That's it. One to the right and one to the left. We go to the left, left, then to the right, right. Either way, or we go to the right, right, to the left, left. Just make it sound like a bit more echoey sort of thing. As you can tell, that's the three events. And you should also get score eight gold from this, depending. Um, obviously, sometimes you don't, sometimes you do. Um, against AC Milan. Yep, that counted. Goal. Obviously... I'm not going to try and figure out a way to curve it, it's just not 7 miles for me. And here again, not a smart way to try and curve it. There we go, we've got that complete, free kicks are done, so let's go on. You just see me quickly just destroy these Lunar New Year things. Um, I'm going to reveal a secret when it comes to the red envelopes. I've got four numbers, which are stuck to all the time. And out of these four numbers, so far I've got given... Two, not one, two lucky players, one 250 coins lucky as well. Just just add insult to injury. I thought I got that on the bottom right, but I was wrong. Whoopsie for the smoke. Just make sure I actually hit this one. There you go. Don't care which one I hit as long as I hit it. Um, something fits me. Just going into this. Let's go. Mm. Fortune chase. Let's get in this one here. So I'm not going to reveal my numbers on camera. That's the only thing I'm not doing. 
Only reason is is because I do not want to be blamed for you guys not getting anything. I haven't changed my numbers, as I said, I've got two players and a lucky 250 coin bonus, so yep. You guys pick any numbers which you want, I'm not going to give any suggestions out. I won't even reveal them if you ask me to, because it's just one of those where you go, I don't want to be held responsible for you, so I'll do it that way. Sort of thing. So, you yeah, everyone played their own way. As you can see, I'm literally just trying to get through these as quickly as possible. Um, besides that, there's actually nothing else I really show you. I've completed one of the French play. The only reason is I really have not been interested in doing anything else besides the Lunar event. And I'm trying to say focus on the Lunar event. So I don't miss out on the coins, I don't miss out on the bonuses, and I don't miss out on anything, as you can tell. Let's just... Do I recommend wasting energy on this? It depends. Obviously, as I said for myself, I'm not going to work my ass off by watching videos and stuff like that to do it, which is a free stuff, but if you get if you're after a certain player, then I would. But you got to mathematically understand how to get there. That's what I'll show you. So, for example, let's say you chose... Okay, I want to get... Just, I'm just going to pick someone random. Philippe. Perfect example, right? So you need to complete one, four, nine, fifteen, just to get on Philippe's path, you need fifteen. Then after the fifteen, you need another three and make it eighteen, twenty three, twenty nine, then that goes up to twenty nine to thirty seven, and then from thirty seven to forty nine to thirty. And to get him, you need either a lucky player or a Luna or a Crimson player. Obviously, if you've got a lucky player, you don't need to do that. But if you don't have a lucky player, you can either buy one on the market. Um, the cheapest one on the market at the minute is either Philippe, I meant Sleek or Robertson. Obviously, as I said, I've got his Sleek and Lindelof, but I'm selling my Lindelof. Just to prove a point, I'll, I just said, I just showed him. So he's 49 for him. Let's go back to the path and let's show you another path. One, three, eight. I'm ready to done this last time. Eleven. Then let's say I want Chao Cancelo. Just to make it a bit more interesting. Eleven. Goes up to nineteen. And then after nineteen it goes up to twenty-nine. After twenty-nine it goes up to thirty-nine. And now we're on the path, 39, add 5 equals 44, add that equals 53, so you just got to do your path, 62, Seventy four. 89, now 89 is impossible, you're wondering why I'm saying it's impossible, you can get from for free without repeating the event or repeating the last event over and over again the minimum what you'll get is free now you can do it three times every day so you just quickly add up the first day was two and the rest of the days were three so if you just add up the day's totals you i calculated 80. now that's because I did. Actually, what I mean, the event was nine days, and you can do three day, and then you do twenty seven point three, but you take away. Sorry, I calculated not eighty, eighty seven. You did nine times three, which was twenty seven. Then you times that also by three. This is where it gets confusing. Yeah, because you can get three, not over nine days, and then you three times a day, which equals 81, and then you put it to, you get the 87. So you can get 87 minimum without repeating events. Obviously, as I said, two, so you equals zero, one, two, three, four, and obviously, but answer where you need five to do the whole path. I'll probably, I'll tell you what, next episode. I'm going to give a breakdown on all of these. This will be for Monday's episode as well as Domination. I'm going to do a breakdown of how to get how much it will cost for each player. And just doing their pass as I was doing from the bottom all the way up. 
and no, I'm not. I've already revised how I'm going to tackle this event. I'm probably going to get either Motta for Italian, Cancelo for Portuguese, Aspelblaga for Spanish, Sanson for French, but I don't really need French, Romagnoli for Italy. If I want to go Italy, Romagnoli and Motta, if I really wanted to go Italy, to go and get myself a Maldini in the future or just to have him in my team. As I said, I'm not looking for starting players here. I don't think I'm going to find out of anything. Romagnoli is probably good to closest one to get to that 96 rated. But it depends on which path you want to go on. We'll be done. Anyway, for this episode, I'm going to leave it there because it comes to another thing to 7.5 million coins and the training and the bonuses and all that. How I look at it, it's going to be different to you guys. 7.5 million coins or getting a player or two I, it depends I'll I'll let you know how much it costs for each player uh, I'm not going to realize I'm not going to spoil how I'm going to finish it as I said I'm not going to spend my things until the very final thing I'm not going to show that on camera I'm going to show it and I'm going to, I'm going to explain what I did as a breakdown of the rewards in the next day's episode from when the event finishes because all of these players will become optionable so do remember that so yes, you may get lucky and get yourself all the way to that Vandasar, which is not optionable. Or you can get like yourself a Lindelof or Toliso or Bernard Silva, but they're all optionable. So what you get does affect the market. And if you tell me they're worth that much, we'll have to wait and see. Anyway, for that episode, I'm going to end it now. Bye.